Did you know you can type in a query on Google like this and have ChatGPT display its own result? Why Google also displays its own result as usual, right? So you can see ChatGPT is still displaying its own result. How can we do this? Okay, so that's what I'm gonna be showing you in this video. And you know the funny thing, it's all happening on my mobile device. Okay, you can all do this on your mobile device. Okay, so let's go if you're interested in how to do this. So the first thing you would need would be a browser that can allow you to install an extension. So to do this, you would use the Kiwi browser. So to do this, you would go to your app store to search for Kiwi browser. Once you have it displayed here, you would simply click on the download button and download it into your mobile device. So yours would show download. So you would click the download button and run the installation. So once you have the browser downloaded, okay, it's going to look like this once you run it. So to show you what we want to do, if you click on these three dots here, you can see we have got extensions. So we want to install an extension on this browser here. Okay. So if you look down here, you can see that the only extension I have on this browser is Metamax, right? So we want to add another extension here so that um, when you browse, you will see what we showed you earlier on in this video. So to do this, you're going to search chat GPT for Google. So that's simply what you would have to search. And you're going to see this results displayed here. You're going to see chat GPT for Google. So once this is displayed, what I want you to do is to click on these three buttons again. The next thing would be to turn your browser to desktop site. OK, so you're going to check that tiny box there and then that's going to display this. So now you're on desktop site, you're going to open that search result. So to do that, you're going to click on it. So this is gonna bring you to the Chrome Web Store, okay? As you can see right here, this is the extension we want to install. So you can see it says here, chat GPT for Google. The next thing you would do would be to click on the app to Chrome here. So that displays this, you're gonna simply click on the OK button. So as you can see here, it is checking. You're gonna just wait for it to finish the checking process. So as you can see, once the checking process is over, it's gonna display remove from Chrome, which means now that you've got the extension installed on your mobile browser okay so what you're gonna do now is to click on the three dots to see it and right here we can see the chat gpt for google extension installed right here so you can see it so that's pretty awesome so now you're good to go so let's see how we can use this so on this page here i'm gonna search anything okay so for example let's search how to stop snoring so as you can see here, we have our results displayed for how to stop snoring, but there is an issue. There is no result displayed from the chat GPT AI software. Okay. So to solve this problem, you're going to click on the chat.open.ai.com. Okay. So if you have an account, simply click on the login button to log in. If you don't have an account, click on the sign up button here to sign up for an account. So you can see that's gonna bring you here. You're good to go. Now we are gonna simply click on this now to search anything you want to search. So I'm searching that again. Please make sure you're still on desktop mode. So waiting for chat GPT. Can you see that there? Of course, you can see chat GPT in action now. Okay, this is pretty awesome. If you wanna um, use chat GPT like this, you need to go through this process. Okay, you can see it's still displaying its results. So on this part, you have your results from Google and um, this one is the chat GPT response from the same query. Okay, so this is pretty much how to do it. This is Briggs LBs and it's your guy Ken signing off.